another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will, feeling very much on the edge. Who is this guy? What? <laughs> What's your name, stranger? Hey everybody, it's Tyler Lee from Burst of Knowledge. Guys, yeah. we are welcoming our partner to the podcast. You heard us talk about it last week. Mm. Uh, we also did a short announcement video on it. If you didn't know, he's here now. He's our partner in crime. I am here. Yes. Welcome, Tyler. Welcome. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, we hope to bring Tyler on as a part of the podcast every once in a while, but we thought today <laughs> is going to be a relaxed day where we just get to talk about him and Burst of Knowledge. And you guys just get to learn and hopefully go follow him. His link oh, is yeah. down in the description. Yeah, yeah. Before that, we do, of course, have our random card of the day, which we are very happy to have Tyler on with this because oh, yeah. he's a little nervous about it. I am. And I it's going to be great. Um, I do want to yeah. mention really quick, this episode is going to be dedicated only to basically us kind of hanging out and talking to Tyler and right. getting you guys up to date on basically what he does. So we are not going to be doing right. our crack a pack or anything like that. Yeah, uh, sorry, our question guys. of the week. Do we want to go over question of the week? Um, I mean, why not? We just put it off another week. It's what do you think? Thing. I mean, good. Let's go over it. Okay. Let's cool, go cool. over it. So, uh, with that though, mm-hmm. we do come to our random car of the day. And right. three, two, one. Tyler, get ready. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. So yes. Is that a redo? No. no we actually... we do it, what? guys. That's we got the mountain. Lame. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, so am I going first? Yes. Go for it. All right. So, yeah, it's a mountain. It's from yes. M15. It is a basic mountain to add to that. Uh, beautiful, <laughs> unique artwork. Uh, where is it legal? Um, where is it not legal is a more important question. Guys, I'm so surprised in the, what, 89 times now that we've done this that we have not gotten a basic land. And the first time we do is I when didn't Tyler know gets to it was us. possible. Um, we can get creature tokens too. Your like, noise is, gate is just ruined, and I'm sorry. Oh, 100%. About that. Oh my god. Guys, um, it's a mountain. If you're so, uh, playing it's red, a mountain, yes. If you don't know what lands do, <laughs> uh, learn that first, I think. Would you say that's probably an important Yeah, that's aspect, probably important. You think? As an aspiring judge, yes, you need to know that you can only play one of these per turn. Right, one mountain yeah. per turn. And you may have any amount of them as you wish to have. You in could the deck. have 60. You could. You could have, have a thousand. Mount- you could have a thousand mountains. You're not I, limited. I don't know if that's advisable. Um, well, but you know what? You hit your land drops. You should. That's a good point. Every Actually, turn. okay. Thousand Every mountains. Turn. From here on, we're going to do a deck template. <laughs> it's just thousand mountains. Throw a lightning bolt in there. <laughs> okay. Are we doing uh, best three out of five? Or uh, what are we looking for? We honestly, this is about where we cut it. <laughs> we don't really go any further. That's it. Okay. Mountains are cool, guys. Basic mountain. Um, all right. So here's the deal. Ooh. Obviously, we're really excited about this partnership with Tyler. We want you guys to get on board with it and go mm. hang out, talk with him. He is focused, correct me if I'm wrong, on the financial aspect. For the most part, yeah. For the most um, part. The channel is doing a slight change. We are strictly a financial and pairing with Magic the Gathering relevance, uh, mixing with a little bit of life coaching, uh, life coaching and some general uh, motivational tips too so anything that revolves oh, around it. a community um the channel since i've stepped in the role mm-hmm. with working with grand slam and now you guys um obviously the collaboration portion of everything will be there but um the financial portion of the channel will be implemented soon gotcha but not in the manner that most people think so just keep an open mind and interesting yeah. okay. so quick question Okay. How long have you been doing YouTube? Because correct me if I'm wrong, but you were in it for a bit, and then you stopped, and then you came back. Yeah, so this comes up quite a bit. Um, I started the channel at Force of Knowledge as kind of just a test to see if, one, I could actually feasibly do it. Sure. Um, and then see if I would get a response. Yeah. I did get a response, but work obviously got in the way. Always uh, does. Lack of Guys, don't work. Yeah. And so... <laughs> <laughs> Life coaching. Basically, I, I did pause for a period of time, and mm. when I met you, Kevin, yeah. um, at Grand Slam, <clears throat> um, it opened up that possibility yeah. and that stream again to put out more content. So Absolutely. that kind of brings cool. us here right now. Very yeah. Cool. So um, what, what drives you, would you say, to do this, the, the life coaching and the, and the general motivational stuff within the YouTube realm? So this leads back to the finance aspect of it, actually, mm-hmm. is that um, we, as people in America, you know, we always need to be preparing for our future Mm -hmm. and something that is so unique as magic gathering we have ourselves in a very unique situation where if you want to do magic you kind of forget about everything else later on in life and you kind of have yeah um, (laughs) yeah. 
a <laughs> distraction in front of you. And so how do you do magic and prepare for your future or whatever mm. that thing is that you want to get over? You know, yeah. whether it's mm. weight loss, whether it's just getting a better job. Um, how do we go about preparing for that? And I have certain things in place right now that we will be working um, with individuals specifically mm-hmm. later on down the road to kind of build that. Yeah. But as to how... Um, you know, I got there was just realizing that there was a need. Mm-hmm. Um, and where there's a need, you know, I can step in and kind of guide somebody. I love so. that. That's awesome. It's really cool. Take that initiative. I did sure. it. Um, and I relate a little bit because with It Resolves, um, I think we've told this story to you guys a few times, but we'll kind of reiterate. When we first started, it was literally a sit down and say, do you want to record a podcast? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's try it. And just to see yeah. if you could do it. And so mm-hmm. I like that the inception of Bursts of Knowledge is very similar in that way to It Resolves. Mm-hmm. And I like the idea that now, because of this partnership between the two of us, this opens up so many doors, as you mentioned. And Stepping as you grow in. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And I think the partnership aspect of it, all of that is fantastic. We've already mm-hmm. obviously started to grow with that. And mm-hmm. I think that's fantastic. We're only a couple weeks in at this point. And so to get this far already is great. Yeah. But moving forward, we've got a lot of new plans. Do you want to talk about any of those? Oh, uh, well, let me ask you specifically, what do you want me to reveal? Ah, uh, so, uh, okay. <laughs> Which All door right. should we open? <laughs> we do have, I will hint at a few things, okay. and then you can talk maybe a little more at length. I will reveal one big one. Uh-huh. Oh, um, okay. So something that we've talked about doing, Will and I talked even before you came into the picture, we wanted to do some high quality gameplay, not streaming, but high quality gameplay. We are not the command zone, but we wanted to shoot for something, you know, as best we could with that as sort of the end. High production S. High production quality. Um, Yeah. Yeah. So I'll step step in. Yeah. Yeah. So um, great minds think alike. Yes. Mm. And so (laughs) one thing that I was wanting to do on my channel, um, probably about six months after I started doing this and had my pause, was realizing that um, people really like watching magic, but not in a competitive tournament, Mm -hmm. but just seeing something unique that's brought to the table. Absolutely. And so I think what, if I'm correct in your hinting (laughs) is, um, hopefully soon we're going to be getting kind of a team of individuals together in our local area, and we're going to be doing some spicy decks, Mm. some (laughs) format experimentation, and hopefully some... Mm live coverage that you guys will be able to check yes, out on uh, our channels to that's kind the of um, that's the big one. get in there yeah so yeah. hopefully you'll see all of us soon yeah filming um our interactions with this group the game and growing and the group. playing of that yeah, yeah. so that's what we're Definitely. kind of leaning towards we're, and we're towards. looking forward so, to that um yeah a lot of work to do with that before there is a lot of work to do there's a lot of uh production aspects that oh, go yeah. into something like that mm-hmm. that we do not have all of the foundation for quite oh, yet that right. we are working towards right. it yeah um, building again yeah so we're getting there um that's definitely in the near future is our goal uh, something else that I do want to mention that isn't necessarily giving away too much, but mm-hmm. something that we all get to sort of work on together, and that may be a project that two of us jump on at one time, it might be all three of us, it, it's any culmination. Uh, we talked about doing some live streaming on both of our channels, mm-hmm. uh, centered around very basic story structures, so our first experience with magic, as an example. Yeah. Um, where we can jump on and hang out and just talk about these things for half an hour to an hour, and just go through some stories and just hang out, hopefully, with you guys directly. Uh, it's a way to connect not only us, but us to you. Uh, and hopefully get some stories and feedback from you right. guys. It's not a format we've done before. We no, have streamed and we will stream in the future. But that, we think, is a really... It's going to be a cool way for if you are interested to uh, get to know us one more. And touching on that subject alone, um, the idea here is that, you know, obviously, one or all three of us or a combination of a mix of some sort will kind of be able to hop on and we'll choose individuals. So it's important to be following us on obviously YouTube, uh, each of our Twitters. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to try and select um, people that we kind of can do something with. So like if you have, for instance, a really spicy deck list, or um, let's say you're an individual who doesn't have a local game store, but you really just like being socially involved with Magic yeah. the Gathering, we can form some form of relationship where we can hop on and we can all do something. And carry on lives more intimate. 
conversation. Yes. Oh. So, yeah. yeah, that's how we're going to be kind of a little spicy. getting to know you guys. Because exactly. I already have a few individuals who I keep in touch with constantly that are Magic the Gathering related. Hmm. I don't know in person, but yeah. I have been holding and conversations we, with these individuals for a while now. So, And sure. we opened up that door for ourselves as well. Mm-hmm. We, we jumped on Discord, which again is down in the description if you want to join. We've got a few people on there that are regular watchers of not just the podcast, but the Cracker Packs. Now we're doing deck techs, which is exciting as well. I should probably join the Discord. You should probably join on the Discord. Oh, wow. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> we do have a small group of people there that like mm. to hang out and talk and give suggestions even. We've got a suggestions mm. channel where you can say, hey, I'd really love to see this deck. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a good place for you guys to post deck lists for us to use for deck techs, things like that. So that's the first step for us. I think this culmination of streaming and getting you guys onto a live situation, I think that that brings in a whole new aspect to it that I'm excited about. Yeah. I think it's going to be a great step forward. Likewise. For sure. Very the cool. only thing that's more important than playing Magic the Gathering is playing more Magic the Gathering. Yes. So <laughs> that's our way of kind of reaching out to you guys. Yes. Yes. So back to Magic the Gathering. Tyler, I want to get a little, I want to know you a little bit more sure. in your, your Magic expertise uh <laughs> talk to me about your favorite format what is your go-to oh, man man Ooh. honestly mm-hmm. uh, it's no format at all Casual. extrapolate give me more i love it <laughs> um if i had an unlimited card pull and i could build any deck i wanted to you should play vintage there you, you go, go. I wouldn't play it. I wouldn't play it. Um, <laughs> I, at heart, am more of a collector okay. um, than anything else. That's where Magic's biggest appeal is. Um, <laughs> you know, like I ha- we're the same. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. If I you have an extensive up on modern collection. Yeah, and I can literally build almost any deck in modern. But I don't have a single deck put together right now. So if you want to sit down and play a game of Magic <laughs> live. I would need a good hour or two to kind of <laughs> decide what I wanted to play. So Kevin and I, we, for I think as long as we've been friends, we have yeah. made decks and just played them. Mm-hmm. And yeah. every time I make a sweet deck, I come over like a day or two later. I'm like, you want to play Magic? Let's play with that one deck. Oh, I'll take it apart. Yeah, yeah, I do that a lot. It goes back to the binder. It goes back to the binder because yeah. I like to have everything organized. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I... Tyler and I are very similar, actually, in that we are very much collectors than players. Yeah. Um, I think it's fair to say we both enjoy the game quite a lot. Absolutely. Though. I love um, playing. It's just a matter of... we actually got a chance to play the other day. We did, yeah. Uh, we can share that story if you want. It <laughs> yeah, because I haven't one. heard it at all, so yeah. Tyler, do you want it or do you want me to? Um, <laughs> are we talking about what happened in the first game or yes. the three games after that? Well, all of it. Okay, Collective. so I'll, I'll tell the story as a whole. Um, yeah. So yeah, I was uh, I'm working with Grand Slam um, here in town at Rock Hill, and go check them out by the way, guys. Yeah, definitely stop by if you're local. Link is in the description. So <laughs> what ended up happening was we did our first Saturday kind of uh, come in and play day, and I was expected to kind of teach a handful of new players that were interested um, in learning how to play Magic the Gathering. So what I did actually was um, I built a mono blue forty card Merfolk deck, and cool. then a forty card green dinosaur deck. Right? Sounds good. Big stompy dinosaurs, quick evasive Merfolk. Yep. Clash them together Great and see balance. what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Um, well, unfortunately, <laughs> most of the kids that were there were end up Pokemon only and too young to really kind of understand the mechanics That's of bummer. Pokemon or sorry of Magic. So they just stuck to Pokemon. Okay. Well, Kevin, being the great guy he was, trying to support the store, came down. We were playing <laughs> a couple games, and he's like, "Well." What, what? I bought. I brought Dredge. Yeah, can I interject at this point? Sure, sure. Because <laughs> this is where it no, gets a little funny. No, no, hold on, hold on. I'm going to interject first. <laughs> so that is so Kevin. It does. <laughs> Sorry, you built a... What's it? You built a a forty card casual deck. I didn't know at the time. It's all it's all common. I didn't know at the time. Okay, I mean, it's I could okay. put together Dredge. Okay. I guess. Okay, here's what happened. Here's what happened, guys. So. I knew that Tyler was going to be down there, uh, hanging out with a few people, hopefully getting some people involved. I thought people were bringing their own decks at the time. It's true. I okay. did not know that it was intro decks. So, to reiterate my point, <laughs> you heard that Tyler was going to play with a bunch of new players. I thought he was going to bring a deck and we could just play. I did bring a deck. So, I you not that deck. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had just previously, the night before, no. I had built uh-huh. a modern dredge deck, missing no. a few people. You're annoying. <laughs> Continue. What's wrong? Building a few, missing a few pieces, but I built a modern dredge deck. That's okay. And I was excited to play it. And I sure. thought Tyler was going to have a more competitive deck. 
than he initially had. So I left and I said, hey, I'm on my way. The only deck I have built is this modern dredge deck. Having already left, mm -hmm. he then texted back saying, great, it'll go really well against my intro decks. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have made a huge mistake. So <laughs> you played, there were two intro decks, yes? Yeah, two separate 40 so card So you played with the blue one, I built right? myself out but, uh, of Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan only. Kev, you play with the blue one, right? Guys, you pu you're gonna feel like a douche in a minute because let's yeah, sit down and talk about accepted. the first game. Sure. Okay. So wait a minute. Did you lose? <laughs> <laughs> I lost. I lost. I didn't get a treasure. So it's very important oh, to God. understand when playing Magic. The <laughs> oh God! I felt so bad. It will. <laughs> Guys, it felt terrible. I want to, okay, I'm covering my butt a little bit. We played four games. I lost the first one. The other three I sweeped. The first well, one. No, remember, two of them were actually decently close. They were until, kind of close, yeah. <laughs> until I hit a dredger, and then it. And then you just off. went off, yeah. But, yeah. Guys. It, it was bad. So which one was it? Was it the scary merfolk from Ixalan that did it, or the dinosaur? It was, actually. It was the merfolk. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> that was a good day. Woo. So as I was saying, so yeah, um, yeah. So game one, um, we opened up, and I just thought to myself, <laughs> well, I'm here to teach, and so I already took the time to build these oh. decks out of just Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan oh. cards. Um, another thing, too, that's important to know is that I had no rares. I had no mythics. I also don't <laughs> add on to this. I also had no mm. um, non-basic lands, so yeah. it was just strictly lands yep. that you could pull yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so yes. you know, oh. this really goes to show you. Sometimes it's not about what you paid to have in the deck; it's how you use the cards. Pay to win? Deck. Question. I will mark. also point out. Go ahead. It helps to have a dredger when you're playing a dredge deck. <laughs> it's good if your deck is named after a mechanic to be able to use that mechanic. Turns out when you don't get a dredge card in a dredge deck, mm -hmm. you just don't do anything for a long time. <laughs> yeah, not, that that is true. You knowing get dredge. Face by and then standard merfolk. standard merfolk. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Yeah. So yeah, that actually did happen. Um, I freely lost. And he took the he took it on the chin pretty well. So yeah, well, kids used to that. Kev. Guys, I feel really bad at this point. It's it really should. I mean, <laughs> that's amazing. That's, Every dredge player out does there. Does that make you feel better? Yeah, I feel great. Cause <laughs> I, ooh, I shed a tear, man. Yeah, yeah. But back to the original point now. So you asked me what my favorite. Sure, uh, <laughs> sure, right, right. Format to play. Um, it, each format has its unique purpose. You know, right, right. Um, Standard allows you to really kind of play more tournaments and grind right. through and get to know the sets of what are coming out. And so if you're going to be a tournament grinder, um, Standard's really fun because you're always playing with new cards and you yeah. learn a lot more mechanics, yeah. new things that you never saw before. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Modern is great because of just the depth of the actual format. Sure. Super. Commander cool. is a whole new ballpark from either of those formats. And then like shooting visions. lasers. Yeah, dude. All Chicken on the back. All the Rocket propelled stuff. T Rexes. So, there you go. That's, that's Commander. Um, In the best way. I like all formats. Sure. I just don't you have You don't have a any. favorite? I really don't. That's nothing wrong with that. Nope. Man. Magic's your favorite. I get yeah. it. I get it. Well, but do you have a favorite card? That's a good question. Favorite card in. Oh. In Magic. Let me be specific. <laughs> In the 25 years. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, I lost my voice this loud. I'm so hard. I'm sorry. I know your favorite. Oh, yeah. They know my favorite. I'm going to have to get back to you guys on that. And oh. maybe that might be something that I post wow. later on <laughs> at forceofknowledge.com on Twitter. <laughs> wow. Perfect. All right. Well, yeah. sorry to keep you on the hook there. <laughs> <laughs> That's Cliffhanger. Um, all right. Cool. Well, I guess... I'll just go ahead and say I'm really, really excited about this partnership. Likewise, I am too. Um, I'm pumped. We, um, I guess we should mention. Or is this coming out before um, Burst of Knowledge is, is, is video? Not sure yet. We haven't said that yet. Uh, with know. the editing time, we will see. But yeah. stay tuned. There will be a video um, on Burst of Knowledge yes. featuring us um, that yeah, goes check a them out in depth well. from some fun stuff. Yeah, we're we're talking about Jace Spellbook. 
So that's cool. Uh, if you're interested in that, I would definitely check that video yeah. out. It got a lot more in depth than I think we initially yeah. for thought. Releasing eight cards specifically. Yeah, it, it went, went deep. Also, if we're wearing the same clothes, don't think that's weird. Yeah, film no. the same. <laughs> no, we didn't. It's totally fine. It's we totally filmed good. the day of recording we're, and sending out. It's we're, totally fine. We're always professional costumes. Do you want mountains are cool. with me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to switch with me. <laughs> that would honestly work better. He might not be able to fit in my shirt. I'm a little dude. <laughs> I'm a little scrawny too. Anyway, guys, <laughs> let's take my shorts off. Definitely go follow Bursts of Knowledge. Again, Please do. we're really excited about this. He gets to cover a lot of things that we don't normally cover. Again, mm -hmm. the financial aspect and even breaching yeah. into just sort of the motivational side of things, I think, is fantastic. Right. So, And on that note, yeah, don't forget that um, I will also have an input of a judge reference. So with oh, yes. my partnership with Grand Slam, I will be stepping into the role of their level one judge. Sweet. So with that, we'll be kind of doing a card shop life. Um, yes. And we'll be filming that together as well, too. So Love it. we have a lot of things that we'll be continually upgrading the channel cool, cool. and sweet new content on both channels. A whole lot of new content. Yeah. yeah. Love That's it. Really Love it. Um, really a lot of great stuff to look forward to. Again, we hinted at some of it, so hopefully you guys are excited about it. Um, yep. If you have anything that you want to see us collaborate on, leave it in the comment section below. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we're open to suggestions. Ideally, we are here for you guys and yep. to foster that community. Mm -hmm. So if there's anything we can do that you guys specifically want to see, let us know. If you want to see a switch shirt, we'll do it. Yeah, just yeah, reach we'll out. Do it. Just let us know. Um, also, I do want to point out, um, we're not doing our, our crackbacks today, but I there's right. something important to note about that. If you watched the last week's episode, uh, Will was, it? was able to pull his goal card at the very last minute. You pulled your card? Galta! Pulled his Galta. Oh. Yeah! Which means, everybody, I get a pie to the face. Correct. Not uh, today. Psych! Yeah, we're not doing not that today. in this episode. Uh, again, we wanted this to be a focus really on Tyler and the All partnership, right. so we're not taking away from that. We will do a one-of video of the pie in the face. I can't. You didn't bring me a pie. That would have been perfect. Dude, you can come to the pie. The pie. Mm, the, <laughs> Watch your wording there. The buddy. magic, the pie. The, mm, magic, the pie. Piring. 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 Pire. Moving right pie, along. Pie, uh, of the last. pie of the gathering. <laughs> pie of the Pie of the Gathering. Um, uh, Kev the Pie. Oh, um, okay, while well, I go over the question of the week, uh, you two think of the next question. A uh, Johnny Pie main. Okay. Oh, that's good. Um, okay, so, guys, last week's uh, question of the week, we wanted to know, we talked about the stack, and we wanted to know basically what you guys find challenging about magic. And a lot of you actually pointed out the stack was a difficult topic for you. If you wanted to check that out, go watch the uh, previous episode on the stack. We talk about priority. We talk about the stack itself. There's a lot in there. Um, a lot of people said just understanding how cards really interact with each other and the order of things on that. Um, again, that's really focused on the stack. I would check that out. A lot of people said luck versus skill as a general topic. Interesting. We think this merits its own episode, potentially. Absolutely. Uh, and so, and it may even be a stream that we all do together, uh, because there's a lot there. Uh, Magic was designed to be a game that incorporated both skill and luck. Right. Uh, Richard Garfield is very open about saying stuff like that. So oh, yeah. he's done plenty of presentations on it. In fact, I've watched a lot of them. That's why you shuffle your deck before every <laughs> yes. game of Magic. Uh, that's why there's card limits. Um, yeah. But anyway, that is a huge part of the game that we wanted to talk about, so we will be doing that. Uh, a lot of people said wording on old cards, which I think is hilarious. Oh, definitely, yeah. man. And definitely something, if you're a vintage player or something like that, a lot of people have issues with that. So yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Look up the Oracle text on wherever, because it's somewhere. Um, yeah. there's, yeah, there's some funky stuff out there. Yeah. It's amazing what, you know, 20... Five plus years of magic yeah. has oh, evolved into, and just the, let, the way that we phrase mm -hmm. certain yeah. things. Yeah. I don't think that they imagined the player base just taking things for granted. Yeah, as much. You know what I mean? I think so. Right. Um, plus, in the early days, they really had to explicitly state every right. little thing, yeah. and nowadays it's more like understood what something that, yeah, means. What There's means, a lot more keywords, and yeah, so yeah. it's a little bit of a different story now. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people said deck building is a challenging just part. In general. Just in general, right. yeah. um, that's, I mean, if you're a new player especially, that's going to be tough. And it's going to be just daunting, You really too, have to get right? into it and start trying things. Um, yeah. Now, part if of, I may, um, yeah. in a dream real quick, um, one of the things that comes that I find with deck building is that um, sometimes you find a card that is really, you want to do creative things with. Yeah, sure. And sometimes we don't always have the necessary tools to make that card shine. And so what we end up finding is that sometimes you have to kind of 
put that card in the back burner yeah until mm-hmm. something comes along that really nurtures that card to sure. you know perform the way it would mm-hmm. um versus a high performed you know deck that's an established deck sure, or yeah, an established exactly. card no absolutely yeah, so. build around cards and we see this all the time something like lantern of insight i'm going to use this as an example because i love this deck that card was kind of garbage for ever. Yeah, didn't have a home, really. Until Zach came along and said, hey, I'm going to make a deck out of this, and now it's amazing. So there are build-around cards. Sometimes it's not the right time for it, uh, just as you said. Um, speaking on deck building, sideboards are a big thing that people sideboards have issue with. Not huge. just building them, but also knowing how to sideboard against a certain deck. Um, mm-hmm. There are a lot of ways, uh, there are a lot of tips and tricks to doing that sort mm-hmm. of a thing. Really, when it comes to sideboarding, you have to know what metagame you're up against. That is the biggest point. Um, If you are not expecting to see any graveyard decks, then don't put graveyard hate in your sideboard. Use other things that are more important. So, things to think about. We can actually do another episode just on sideboarding, honestly. That's a whole thing in itself. Um, But yeah, it's important. Personally, I mean, I would do at least five videos on sideboarding. Yeah. How <laughs> so much. It is. There really is yeah, a lot yeah. there. Because you, um, you only get 15 slots in your sideboard. And, and you have to use them important. as best yeah. effectively as you can. And we can dive can. deep into those later on. Yeah, so. absolutely. Um, yeah. So that'll be a topic for another day, but we do have that on the list, so don't worry. Um, one other thing that I did want to mention, mm-hmm. uh, people have a lot of trouble drafting, uh, which is a big issue. Uh, I would... Whew, so it? drafting... There's a podcast, if you don't know, Limited Resources, um, hugely, hugely involved in the limited aspect of Magic. That's what they focus on, their draft and sealed focused. And so I would highly suggest checking them out. Um, We will absolutely talk about drafting in the future. There's no doubt about that. But they are 100% the people you want to go to, I would say. I'd say so, too. We, As much as I love drafting and have drafted in the past, um, I think... I mean, they're they're experts. We have some great ideas. It's literally LSV and Marshall Sutcliffe. So yeah, like, <laughs> there's. I mean, as much as I love us, yeah, of course, uh, they're freaking Hall of Famers. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, speak for yourselves, gentlemen. <laughs> well, okay. we are okay. We will. Um, I mean, maybe we can do something where yeah, we can do like an intro to just how to actually form, you know, that forty card deck. Yeah. Um, mm. out of those three packs, that get passed around you know absolutely mm-hmm. something like sealed or um a traditional draft maybe mm-hmm. we can something doing with i that. think it's a great idea talk yeah, about bread mm-hmm. i also want to point out too um with the crack pack series that we do if you are not already watching that you should be but uh coming up in the next few weeks we've got a few more episodes before this actually happens but we do start looking at those packs as a first pack in a draft format so i go through them and actually look at okay what card would i be picking out of this if mm-hmm. i was drafting this okay. set um, I try and do my best to think in terms of that meta at that time. Sure. Uh, so because again, we open packs all the way back to fourth edition. Right. It could be of any manner of things. So yeah, that's definitely things really to think about. Uh, but we do want to look at that and hopefully give you guys a little bit of a tip and trick kind of a mm-hmm. thing with opening some cool packs. So hopefully combine yeah. some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, other people said spending money on magic is hard not to do. Uh, agreed. I have a yeah. buddy who just dropped uh, like two hundred dollars on an underground seat. Three hundred dollars. I mean, Ooh. who's your buddy? Yeah, I can't put him on on the cast. Is it for trade? I'm, no, he just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not hearing it now. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to ask him. I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk, talk about we'll that. We'll talk about it. <laughs> anyway, guys, what's the next question of the week? Oh, uh, right. <laughs> the next question of the week is who is going to be the best brawl commander? Mm. Oh, well, I was right around the corner. That's right. Pulled it out of my hat. That was a pretty good. One. I mean, he wrote it on his hand, and I pulled it out of my hat. <laughs> right. All right. I'm yeah. cool with that, guys. Sweet. Let us know what you think the next brawl commander is going to be. The yeah. best one. Um, it's obviously Squee. Yes, Squee for days. Hundred yeah. percent. If you say anything other than that, you're wrong. Um, How do you defeat a immortal commander? You don't. You don't is the thing. Done. Is. I do so, want to point out really quick, on the last question yeah. of the week, we had almost 90 comments from people. Good job. Hey, everyone. Thanks, like yeah. really involved. Thank you. You guys have yeah. been really supportive. And don't be afraid to ask, man. Yeah. In this magic community. There's a lot of wiki pages and forums out there, and some of them are very nice. Some. Uh, but here... We do the best we can to be nice. And we're not (laughs) terrible people, always. Why? Tyler might be, but he's new. It's fine. (laughs) He'll he'll learn the rules. (laughs) Uh, All right. Well, with that uh, last chance, I just want to say welcome again. Thank you. We're excited to have you guys. Go check out Burst of Knowledge. Tyler is doing a fantastic job. A lot of new content coming from both us and him. 
Uh, so definitely check everything out. So yeah, definitely follow me at uh, Burst of Knowledge at Twitter. Um, shoot me a message, and like I said, the, it's all about having a real community and a relationship with all of you guys. I know that certain YouTubers, once they exceed a certain level, it's hard to manage that type of traffic, but for right now, sure. if you guys just want to start up a conversation, um, again, you had 90 plus yeah. comments. That's amazing for the three guys. The support you know. that, you know, the so honestly, the support that you guys have given, particularly on YouTube and Instagram, has been phenomenal. Uh, we're excited, hopefully, to share that community with Tyler. Uh, and have the and same for you guys. Exactly. So, hopefully, this is a, a foster of something awesome. Sorry, I don't know what we're talking about. All right, with that. <laughs> We are going to get out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe for all um, of our updates. So, quick question for you guys. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry, false ending. Has it resolved yet? No, oh, Jesus. We're not doing this. My name is Kevin. <laughs> My name is Will. And I'm Tyler. <laughs> and this has been It Resolves. <laughs>